Hi, I'm Brian Mosier, Precision Ag Specialist with the Garden City Co-op. Right now our Precision Ag Department is out here installing our AquaSpy moisture monitoring system. The probe that we put in is a capacitance probe and it has a sensor every four inches for four feet. The advantages of, of having all these sensors is that we're able to really dial in to what's going on inside of that moisture profile. We're able to see where our current road activity is and we're also able to, to tell if we have adequate moisture at those levels. A lot of people think of moisture probes as just being able to save irrigation, but that is a benefit to the farmers, being able to save passes and sustainability for the, for the future of the Ogallala Aquifer. But we're also able to do some strategic things with the probe as far as the placement of the water and just knowing when we can, when we can back off a little bit or when we really need to get going again. Another thing that we're able to do with the probe is to monitor our fertigation depths. So once we figure out where our active root zones are, we really want to put those fertilizers right into that active root zones so we can strategically place those through the pivot by, by knowing what's going on below the soil. At the end of the season, it's important to be able to tell if the crop's still using moisture on the, for that last pass, whether we need to go ahead and run it or, or whether, the, whether the crop's finished there. It's important to, uh, to wait till the crop has just emerged before we put the probe in. Um, when we're monitoring root activity, we want to make sure that we get that probe into a good stand so that way we're able to uh, monitor what's really going on below there with the root system. So we wait till the crop's just poking through the ground and, and we make sure that we put that probe in row in, in a good stand of corn or alfalfa or milo. This really gives the farmer a, uh, a good idea of what's going on with his crop below the surface and, and how it's interacting with the water. For more information, contact the Precision Ag Department here at the Garden City Co-op.